every day. Paul said, I die daily. What do you think he's talking about? Instead of living for myself, the world, it's all about what shall I do for me? Most of their thoughts about me, me, me. And sin is S-I-N. I is in the middle of sin. It's all about this. But the secret to happiness is joy. J-O-Y. Jesus, others, then yourself. That's the equation. And you've got to make up that decision to not just die daily, but to be born again every day. Renew your commitment to Christ. Is it safe to procrastinate or postpone a decision to follow Jesus? I heard one time that uh, the devil had a convention and he invited all his top demons to come. And there are thousands of them there. And he said, look, we're looking for a new marketing campaign. We need something really good. I'm open to suggestions. And one demon comes up and he says, I've got it. He said, tell him there's no God. The devil says, well, we've done that before with some success, but there's so much evidence of God, we're still losing a lot of people. And another one came up and he said, tell him God doesn't love him. And the devil said, well, that often works, but he said, uh, even though I don't understand it, he said, uh, there's a lot of evidence of God's goodness and love in the world, and still, we're, we're not able to get people. And one after another, these different demons came up with their, their brilliant marketing strategies, and Satan was listening, and, and finally this one especially diabolical devil, he came up, and he said, I know what the answer is. He said, tell them that there is a God. Tell them they should go to church. Tell them that God loves them. Tell them they should make a complete surrender. But tell them not today. And a satanic smile curled over Lucifer's face and he said, that's it. Just get him to plan on doing it all, plan on believing it all, but don't ever come to the point of making a complete surrender. And I think that hell is gonna be bursting over with people who really had the best of intentions, but they never got around to it. You know, people often die the way they live, procrastinating day after day, making that complete surrender. Is it safe to procrastinate? Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. How shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? I heard a sermon one time where someone said, uh, here's something that God can't answer. You think God can do everything? God can't answer how we will escape if we neglect so great a salvation. Don't neglect it. Embrace it. Surrender to him. Trust him with your life. And he will not let you down, I promise, friends. Don't forget to request today's life-changing free resource. Not only can you receive this free gift in the mail, you can download a digital copy straight to your computer or mobile device. To get your digital copy of today's free gift, simply text the keyword on your screen to 40544 or visit the web address shown on your screen. And be sure to select the digital download option on the request page. It's now easier than ever for you to study God's Word with amazing facts wherever and whenever you want. And most important, to share it with others. Is there any way you can turn these days to find hope for a brighter future? Yes. Please join me, Doug Batchelor, on September 20 for the start of Amazing Facts Prophecy Odyssey, a Bible study extravaganza. These dynamic multimedia presentations will transform what we know about the world and your purpose in it. Bible prophecy is fast fulfilling. Are you ready? For more information and to register, visit prophecyodyssey.com. Thank you for tuning in to Amazing Facts. Have you ever wanted to study the teachings of the Bible in an easy to understand step-by-step -step way? The Amazing Facts Bible School offers free, simple to follow lessons that will guide you through all of the vital teachings of scripture. Visit amazingbiblestudies.com to sign up for your free lessons. They're available by mail or online. Studies are also offered in multiple languages. Don't forget to request today's free offer. It's sure to be a blessing. And thank you for your continued support as we take the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world. We hope you'll join us next week as we delve deep into the Word of God to explore more amazing facts.